can Liverpool further their advantage in the race for fifth? Or can Aston Villa make things a little bit more interesting? Tremendity. No Shanice van der Sanden for Liverpool today either. She's out injured. And Simone McGill for Aston Villa. Wins a corner. Good head of that by Sophie Roman Haug. She is excellent in the air. And Matthews plays in Herbinger, who can pull it back. And it's a miscue by Enderby. Still alive here for Liverpool. And Haug will go for goal. Blocked up. Plenty forward early on for Liverpool here. Herbinger to deliver, and it almost reached Haug at the back post. Merritt's away only as far as Coivisto. On the burst beyond Corsi, and that's a good cross. Will Liverpool be able to threaten here? The referee has spotted a foul. Joining Herbinger over the ball, and the Japanese player gets it back from Herbinger. This is straight off the training ground. It's Enderby. And a goal for Liverpool. Fisk struck it goalwards. And a deflection on it to turn it beyond the goalkeeper. And it's Liverpool who make the early breakthrough. Well, it really was a training ground free kick routine. As Enderby cuts it back across and Fisk steered it towards goal and it came off Anna Patton and there was an off on it to beat Daphne van Domselaar at the other end. And now Hansen goes for goal, trying to catch out Rachel Laws. Good response from Aston Villa. Corsi finds Darling on the dart. It's a brilliant run from Kenza Dali. Gathered by Laws. Great speed. One guard under pressure and has lost out. Here is Alicia Lehman. Who pulls it back to Dali. Where they left off so far here. It's Herbiger to deliver. Goalkeeper gets it away. It's come down to Lungard. And then Matthews with the effort. And Jordan Nobbs will get it away. Here is Coy Visto. Liverpool straight back. Good work by Coy Visto to find Enderby. Now Nagano. That open up for her. She was urged to shoot. Up to Matthews. Goalkeeper gets it only half away, and Sophie Roman Haug is there, and Liverpool lead by two goals to nil. And what a super afternoon it's turning into for Liverpool and Matt Beard. They are really turning up the heat on Manchester United, and Liverpool feel they can finish the day in fourth spot. Good work by Nagano to get it wide to Matthews. This is a good cross. Van Domselaar couldn't deal with it. And Sophie Roman Haug with a poacher's goal. Sixth of the season. Pretty strong defensively so far. That's a lovely ball as well by Nagano to Haug. And here is Mia Enderby. Can she get there? No. But on points with Chelsea and are three behind Manchester City again. Here is Hansen, that's a great burst of pace. Now then fouled by Bonner, and that is a penalty. Had to be. Bonner tracking back with a clear foul on Kirsty Hansen. Totally beaten for pace. And Aston Villa may have a route in a penalty. And Villa with a chance to get back into it. Here goes Mailing. Oh, it's a lovely penalty. Away from the dive of Rachel Laws. And Aston Villa may have a foothold. Mailing is going to get a yellow card here for her part in the aftermath, but she's on the score sheet in the WSL for Aston Villa again. First time since September 2021, and Sarah Mailing spot on. Laws guessed right, but the accuracy on the penalty was impressive. 
Hansen taking on Nagado. She's got past Coivisto too. Okay. Confirmed full-time score. West Ham against Manchester United at three. Here's an opportunity for Enderby. And Maritz came across with an important challenge at the expense of already. What can they do maybe from this latest corner? It's come out to Coy Visto. Big deflection on that. And a simple save from Van Domsela to deny Gemma Bonner, who I think was onside. Now Kirsty Hansen. Running away from Coy Visto. Dali thinks about a shot. Maybe it was a little dink into the box towards McGill, but easy for Laws either way. Then the recipient of the short corner. Back out to Kenza Dali. That's a great cross. And Liverpool hold on and have the half time lead, though at one stage it looked like things would be very comfortable for Matt Beard's side. Goals from Grace Fisk. And then Sophie Rowe. And Simone McGill and Aston Villa get us back underway again. It's Coy Visto to hang up the cross, but easy take for Daft. And Pacheco quickly finding Hansen. He's got the pace to take on Clark. McGill goes in. Brilliant defending by Grace Fisk. Really good direct football from Aston Villa. Kirsty Hansen, lots of pace. Liverpool continue. And Dali standing over it. And Dali will go for goal. And gathered well by Rachel Laws. Good handling from the goalkeeper. Last season, they didn't win a single away league game last season. Irving again, better delivery this time. Cushion header by Lundgaard and beautifully taken down by Matthews. What a cross that is! Enderby can't yeah. reach it, but it is steered in. <laughs> Liverpool have a third. It's Emma Coivisto, and it's an absolutely brilliant goal. Emma Coivisto with her first of the season, and Liverpool are really in charge again now. Fantastic move and finish. Lovely touch from Lundgaard. Matthews with a wonderful cross. Enderby couldn't get there, but Coivisto could. And Liverpool's two-goal advantage is restored. Dali. Nice little touch towards the... Here is Mailing. Corner was taken short, perhaps given Liverpool's prowess aerially, but that's a decent touch on towards Turner. And now Nobbs to strike one. Not too far over. Good effort from Jordan Nobbs, who scored a wonderful goal before the international break to win the game at Tottenham Hotspur and is in good goal scoring form. In fact, she scored from range here against Bristol. Hobbs with a poor back pass, Leanne Kiernan might get there. And Dom Salah did well. Here comes Coy Visto for Liverpool. Knowing that they can really be a threat on the break. Good work by Van Dom Salah. And Kearns gets it back, Liverpool looking to really wrap things up here. Good save by Van Dom Salah. Prevented Missy Bo Kearns from doing just that. Leanne Kiernan crosses. And another looping header is in. They couldn't keep it out on the line. And it's a second for Emma Coivisto. Liverpool have four. And surely with it, all three points. Liverpool were not to be denied after Kearns had seen the shot turned away by the goalkeeper. Kiernan straight back on the attack. It's a really good deep cross. And the looping header from Coivisto 
pattern on the line, couldn't keep it out. And Liverpool are romping clear into the WSL for the first time since 2018. They are on the up and they're looking for more here. Fahi at the back post. Aston Villa very nearly conceding again. It was Nobs who got the block in. Amin Fahi, the captain, strangely, has never scored a WSL goal in her career. Liverpool hunting more goals. Lawley can't get the shot away. It's come up to Daniels. Kenza Dali to deliver. And Patton got ahead to it. Oh. Daniels nearly turning into trouble. Opposite number, Hansen is there. Great ball in. Liverpool are in again here with Missy Bo Kearns. It's Darley who does take it. Pant was up there, back in by Ebony Salmon. It surely be touched home. Goalkeepers turned it away. Aston Villa should have had a set piece goal right at the end, but Rachel Laws was there. Easy for Laws. Again, handling very good from the Liverpool goalkeeper. Liverpool afternoon is. He'll never walk alone, starts to ring around the stadium. And it is job done for Liverpool. They consolidate their grip on fifth place in the WSL. Fifth does really feel like theirs to lose.